Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another SolidWorks Mania part. This time is going to be the 2005. So we're going to do this part right here. And I'm going to scroll down. And we're going to look at the phases here. So it's going to be this part, phase one. I'm going to draw this out first. 2 radius, 90, 75. So this is going to be kind of an ellipse kind of looking part. Is this a full round? Yeah, it's a full round. 90. Okay, let's start there. So let's head into SolarWorks. Go to File, New, Part. Go to my top plane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two center lines. I'm going to grab a circle. I'm going to grab a three-point arc. Oops, that's fine for now though. Make this in line with that. Connect this, give it a tangent. I'm gonna trim this. I'm gonna also trim this for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mirror this first. I'm gonna trim that extra edge off right click select chain mirror about the center line i'm going to give it that dimension of 75. oh i just realized hold on oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh uh dimensions are millimeters they actually bolded it made it big cap letters they gave us the units of measurement that's extremely important Super. Okay, cool. So we are in millimeters. Uh, let me just check here. Yeah, millimeters. Okay, fantastic. So we're dimensioning in millimeters. So 75, 10, 90. So 10 and then 90. And then we're actually going to extrude Bostis up to 12. This is the part. Oh, I'm going to remove those floor reflections. And I'm going to rename this as 2005 SolarWorks Mania. Save. Okay, now 1275. Okay, and then 250. And they don't really give us much to go off of. So since the top is the most complicated, what I'm going to use the bottom first. And it's going to be a loft here, it looks like. And then it's just going to be to a little disc. So it's 5 and it's 27 and it's offset from by 15. So I'm going to go back to top. I'm going to go to from the center. Twenty seven extrude boss by five. The opposite direction, I'm gonna do an offset of fifteen. And reverse direction. Press OK. And then we're gonna go to our loft tool here. And we may require a couple more entities, but I want to see how the loft comes out first. There we go. And it comes out okay. And it's already merged. Now, the top part is the part that interests me the most. Because there's no dimension in that's indicating where it's at. So only up 12, but that's disc. Hmm. No dimensions here. And I'm wondering if they just want you to interpret this. Because I could I could do this. I could go to the front plane. Make a three-point arc again. Give it some tangencies. Coincident, coincident. Then give this a radius of 250. 
and then make sure actually I could get the center line uh, that's center lines too far so I'm just gonna do the horizontal line make this horizontal line horizontal oh and it defines it Oop, this is supposed to be 250 okay And I'm going to right plane. I'm going to grab another three point arc and make sure one side, make this a construction line. Make sure one side has that tangency. I'm going to give this a radius of 75. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a sweep. A surface sweep. Grab that as my profile. This is the path. I'm going to grab that same surface. And I'm going to mirror it. Make sure to knit the surfaces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cut. With surface, grab my surface, it's going up, and then bam, that's it. I'm gonna change the color while I'm here. I wish I gave it a radius across the top, that would have been cool. And then give it some color. So, there we go. This one right here. Save. Let me check out the part now. All the dimensions down. Let's look at phase two now. Okay. Ooh, this one looks way more complicated. The changes need to be uh, molded. This part needs to be molded. I oh, got it. Remove material as shown. Add draft. Add fillets. The fillets are shown in blue and are one millimeter. This is easy right here. So 23 three degrees draft hmm these pockets right here this pocket is going to have a draft on it what's the wall thickness it's i'm assuming it's going to be five all the way around so what i can do then i wonder if that will work i'm not i'm not so certain it'll work but we could try it no, it won't give me the results they got. Three degree draft everywhere. Um, okay. Is there any dimension changes? I believe this is still 27. Okay. So, first... Make sure I can make both phases in the same part. So phase one, I'm going to add a configuration, which would be phase two. Save that real quick. And then this disc, uh, is, it's going to eventually have the three degrees. Um, I think what I'm going to do here, though, is that I'm going to actually not merge the result and then with the cut surface I'm going to change this body to this one and then an insert combine after to combine all these pieces make sure that's in both of them and just because I want to see if I could get that uh that wall thickness in there so I go here I'm gonna take off this plate and I'm gonna shell it here and here five nope okay so that didn't work out what I'm gonna do instead though so I could go here basically uh, run this all at five five grab these parts here 
and then I could do an extrude cut offset from surface five press OK that gives me that feature and then uh, basically this I could delete and then I could just go back to what I originally had with the loft and just merge it all together. Oops, that probably messed up my sketches actually. Yeah, so let's just read those real quick. Grab all that. Reverse. select tangency there you go reverse grab this and do some trimming press ok there we go okay so for the first trick I'm going to actually grab the top plane and this, this area right here is actually what's 27. Everything else has that draft. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to add that draft. I'm going to pick the direction of the draft. Oops. And then I'm going to pick my surfaces and it's going to be at three degrees. There you go. There's that first draft in there. Now I have to draft all the walls at three degrees. Oh, I also have to draft that. So you can actually do this one and we could do a, this configuration draft at three degrees. There you go. So let's save that. Make sure that's in both parts. That doesn't have it. Okay. Okay, great. So that works. And now it's this three degrees all the way around. And I'm wondering if I should make the same uh, trick I did last time with the this tool, the ruled surface. Because I don't think it'll allow it. That's the thing that I actually wait. So let's just do the draft. Sorry, not five degrees, three degrees. Change the direction. Let's go to top, evaluate, draft analysis. This could be three degrees draft. And I'm gonna go to this plane. Grab the intersection. And I'm gonna check this wall thickness. Four point nine nine. That's not much different from five. It's the way to keep a consistent five. Hmm. Let me check this against the phase one, make sure nothing's too different. And I think that's suitable enough for this. I think taking it and finding it just for that point zero 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 seven is too much. Especially if you're molding this part. Three degrees, three degrees, uh, one millimeter radius across all the walls. Oh, this one actually gives it the fillets. Yay. Here. Ooh, that already did the opposite side. Cool. 
there we go and I think it made a note here that that's fine there we go there it is make sure that the first phase is okay nice okay we give it that section view keep it on red Gives it exactly what we want. Looks great. It's moldable this time. And it has these nice radiuses, which is like the best part, honestly. Um, and I'm able to transition between one and two. Great. Okay. So uh, remember, guys, uh, this part is going to be, um, you could download this part absolutely free. Links in the description where you can get it. Um, compare it against your own. Uh, let me know if I made any errors and if you guys have a better technique or way or method to do this, you know, put it down in the comments and I'll try to reply to it. And if there's any real, uh, and if there's any great improvement, then, um, then, um, you know, I'll update this video and I'll update this model so everyone can have that. And if you guys can, please like, and subscribe. It helps me a lot and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, and it helps motivate me make these kind of videos. So, you know, to help you guys out, give you instructions. And, um, you know, if you guys ever need help with any kind of project, just send me a message. I'll try to do my best. Um, and, oh, yeah, and don't forget about the podcast I'm coming up with. Uh, hopefully weekly I'm going to have a podcast. I'm going to set a bit of time up. And, you know, within that time allotted, uh, you guys will come in and ask me any question. Ask me uh, if you guys need assistance with any particular project relating to, to design. And I'll do my best to help you guys out. Uh, also, if you guys um, haven't noticed, if you guys don't have SolidWorks Maker, I uh, have a YouTube video for that. I'll probably put it at the end cards and you guys could watch the video there. Download SolidWorks Maker, $9.99 a month, you know, 10 bucks a month, uh, less than a Netflix subscription. Uh, it's a great, powerful 3D modeling software. It's great. Okay. I, I guess I'll end it there, guys, and uh, hope you guys see you guys next time. Bye.